Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Have you ever wondered about the reason for your existence? Have you thought about whether there is a special plan for your life? Something that makes you different from others? Life raises many questions, and we often seek meaning, hoping for signs that we have a unique purpose. Life is full of questions, and at its core, finding our purpose is a long-standing puzzle. We think about why we matter in this vast world, and wonder if there is something more significant we are meant to do. What if, in the middle of life's ups and downs, you're meant for something important, something connected to a higher power? These are questions that many people have asked throughout history, and they are questions that all of us can relate to. Is there a link between our restless hearts and God's plan for our lives? People from all walks of life have shared stories about remarkable moments that convince them they have a unique role in God's plan. These moments, often filled with wonder and mystery, show that there is something special about God's presence in our lives. The Bible tells us in Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8, Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom should I send? Who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. This verse reveals that one clear sign you may be chosen by God is a profound desire to help others. It's not merely a passing thought, but a deep-seated feeling within your heart, a genuine wish to make a positive difference in the lives of those around you. You carry within you a strong belief that your actions have the power to bring about positive change in the world. This calling extends beyond the realm of religious leadership. It can manifest in various forms, whether through volunteering your time and skills, mentoring individuals in need of guidance, or simply extending a helping hand to those facing challenges. When you find yourself driven by an inner desire to be a guiding light in a sometimes dark world, it becomes a strong indication that you may be meant to carry out God's work here on earth. This calling to serve, born from a genuine concern for others, reflects the essence of your purpose and how it intertwines with God's plan for you. It's a reminder that the path to fulfilling your divine destiny involves not only personal growth, but also selfless service to humanity. When you embrace this calling with an open heart, and a willingness to make a positive impact, you not only align yourself with God's purpose, but also become a living testament to the transformative power of faith and compassion. Psalm chapter 23 verse 4 Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me. This verse reveals that another clear sign of being chosen by God is the profound sense of comfort and guidance you experience during life's most challenging moments. In the journey of existence, we encounter numerous trials and tribulations, yet those who are chosen by God often find themselves enveloped by an inexplicable sense of assurance and guidance, especially when facing the darkest valleys. It's as if an invisible hand is there to lead and support them through the storms of life, infusing them with strength when they feel weak and fostering hope when all seems lost. This divine guidance serves as a testament to God's boundless love and His steadfast commitment to those whom He has selected for a special purpose. This divine presence and guidance in adversity are not merely fleeting sensations but enduring pillars of strength for those chosen by God. They remind us that even in the midst of life's harshest challenges, we need not succumb to fear or despair 
because we are not alone. God's watchful eye and guiding hand provide solace and sustenance, reinforcing the belief that He deeply cares for those entrusted with a unique calling. The very essence of this sign underscores that God's chosen individuals are never forsaken, even in the darkest of times, and that His divine presence remains a source of unwavering comfort and support. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 9 In their hearts, people plan their journey, but the Lord decides their steps. This verse invites reflection on those instances when you've encountered a series of remarkable coincidences that seem to align perfectly with the trajectory of your life. These moments often emerge as a compelling sign that you may be on a path chosen by God. It's as if your every step is intricately ordered in a way that not only opens doors, but also creates opportunities and orchestrates events that defy logical explanation. These coincidences, like tiny beacons, point you unmistakably in the right direction, acting as tangible confirmation that you're embarked upon a journey meticulously planned by a higher power. These divine meaningful coincidences serve as a reminder that there is an intricate design to the unfolding of your life, one that surpasses human understanding. Each remarkable coincidence each serendipitous encounter and each unexpected turn of events signifies a piece of the intricate puzzle that is your divine purpose. It's an assurance that you're not walking this path alone. Rather, you're following a carefully charted course that aligns with God's greater plan. These moments of alignment are a source of wonder and encouragement, reinforcing the belief that you are indeed chosen by God and that your journey is guided by a loving and all-knowing hand. In 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 2, like newborn babies crave pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow up in your salvation. This verse reveals yet another sign that you may be chosen by God, a profound and insatiable hunger for spiritual growth, drawing you closer to the divine. This isn't confined to religious rituals. It's a deep longing to delve into your faith at a profound level and uncover the hidden truths that the universe holds. Those chosen by God often discover themselves engrossed in prayer, meditation, and the careful study of sacred texts, all in a tireless quest to gain a better understanding of God's grand design. This transformative journey of spiritual growth not only enriches your own life, but also positions you to a vessel through which God's purpose can be fulfilled. As you embark on the spiritual odyssey, you'll find that it's more than just a personal quest. It's a calling to become more attuned to the divine will. It's about seeking wisdom, enlightenment, and a profound connection with the Creator. This deep hunger for spiritual growth becomes a driving force in your life, inspiring you to explore the boundless depths of your faith and to apply the lessons learned in your daily existence. Through this journey, you undergo a profound transformation that not only enriches your understanding of life's mysteries, but also equips you to carry out God's purpose with authenticity and dedication. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, So if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. This verse signifies the ultimate sign that you may be chosen by God, a profound and unmistakable transformation in your life. When God singles out individuals for a special purpose, He initiates a deep and lasting change within them. This transformation transcends the realm of mere habit adjustment and penetrates to the very core of your being. You may discover yourself shedding the burdens of old ways, discarding negativity, and undergoing a spiritual rebirth that propels you into a trajectory aligned with your unique destiny. This transformation, though deeply personal, is not an isolated event but a divine mechanism 
through which God works to effect positive changes in the world. The profound alteration you experience becomes a testament to the miraculous power of faith. It serves as evidence that God's hand is at work in your life, sculpting you into a vessel through which His purpose can be realized. As you embrace this transformation, you not only renew your own spirit, but also become an instrument for fostering goodness, love, and positive change in the lives of those around you. Your journey becomes a living testament to the transformative nature of the divine calling, reminding us that being chosen by God is not merely about personal elevation, but also about becoming an agent of hope and transformation in a world that yearns for light and healing. As you think about these signs, remember that being chosen by God isn't about being better than others. It's about embracing a higher calling and fulfilling a special purpose that benefits everyone. So, ask yourself, do you see any of these signs in your life? Are you ready to accept your role in God's plan? The answers may lead you to a deeper understanding of your place in the world and a greater sense of fulfillment as you follow the path that God has chosen for you.